Eh, I'll go for this one, I like this one. Okay, when choosing a spawn for Pteranodon, um, never pick Southwest Access, that puts you over here. And there's just nothing over here. Water Access puts you somewhere around over here-ish. Which is much better, much more centrally located, gives you a lot more choices. So water Access. And okay, okay, luckily for once it's put me right next to the water, that's a very good start. But word of advice, if it does put you in the middle of the forest, just anywhere over there, uh, north. To just head north and you'll hit water access, almost guaranteed. Okay, we got a very lucky start. And it's morning, okay, that is extremely good. Hopefully get some fish. Alright. Come on. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you can uh, uh, bite at fish and grab them instead of skimming. I usually prefer the skimming, but biting works. Alright, I could completely fill up on fish, or, oh, hello, croc, or I can try my luck getting some sea turtle for a slightly faster growth diet. Now you can try again as diet, though. I do not recommend trying. All those things are somewhat rare. And Terra has a really, really fast growth time, so you are much better off just trying to find a sea turtle and calling it good. Or heck, even a Pterodactylus, though Pterodactylus are little monsters, especially to baby Terras. Like, they will just annihilate you. And the closest spot for sea turtles over here at Water Access is to head on down to this beach. You know, sometimes there's turtles, sometimes there's not, uh, with how blessed this run already is. Hopefully a turtle? And no, it's looking like no sea turtles. Dang it. Eh, let's see. Even if I found something like a chicken right now, pff, wouldn't be able to take it down. I do how much damage? Two bite force? Yeah. I expend all my stam just trying to get the thing down. Sea turtles, I mean, while they have a ton of health, they can't exactly run away from you. I'm gonna try those two little islands out there, and then if that's not working, make my way back to water access. Alright, anything out here? Any sea turtles to murder? There's a crab. Cool. Actually, I actually wonder if one crab can fill up a diet when I'm this small. Let's see. Hello, crab. Perish. Alright, I haven't gotten my stamina back on this beach. So stamina is really the hot button issue, the big topic of discussion right now, especially with Terra being the poster child for it. Though, believe it or not, from this point, on the north end of the map, at sea level, I can get almost anywhere on the entire map from here. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna start right now. So one thing that a lot of people don't seem to know about Terra, and it's something I didn't know for sure until I actually tested it, is that whenever you ascend at a very shallow angle, you use a lot less stamina to ascend the same height you would be 
if you just held down spacebar, even sprinted while going up. And it seems that the shallower the angle is, the more efficient it actually is. So doing this, just keeping the angle ever so slightly above neutral, it's using up a little bit of stem, but the amount of altitude that I can actually gain off of that is significant. Alright, here we are. The dam at water access. I've successfully gotten this high from sea level. Having used 25% of my stand bar. And now, from this height above sea level, and especially from this location, I can access pretty much the entire map. Uh, I do have enough stam actually to get all the way to Highlands. Now I won't run out of stam when I get there. I can go to Northeast Plains over there. Or, even just going places that are downhill, I can access everything. I can just follow the river all the way down to River Delta, go to Swamp, I can go practically anywhere. And actually, without even using that much stam at this point. So with Terra, it's a little bit complicated. It's complicated because you are something that is practically invincible. Like, you just simply aren't gonna die while you're in the air. Nothing can touch you. There's absolutely nothing that can do anything to me as I travel. But you're also especially vulnerable on the ground. I mean, I have... I mean, let's say I'm not an adult, so look at that, already 48% grown. But your max weight is like, what, 45, and then you're... Oh. Nope, someone's stuck in the death pit. Rip that Dano. Let's see, max weight is like 45. Meanwhile, Bite Force gets up to 20-ish. So you're not really doing all that much damage, and you especially uh, aren't going to be tanking anything. Like, you will die extremely quick to pretty much everything. Uh, even a Juvi Omni just has to pounce you once, and it's game over. Uh, Troodon pounces you once, game over. There is nothing you can really do about that if they get you. But the thing with that Stam is... I think the drain actually isn't uh, all that bad. Oh, that's a weird waterfall noise. And the drain itself isn't that bad on its own. Uh, there are some things I would reduce the cost of, like takeoff. Takeoff immediately steals six percent of your stamina just taking off, which is just initiating the one mode of transportation you have, which is flying, because walking, sprinting on the ground, yeah, that's just not cutting it. That is not gonna work for you in the slightest. So pretty much your only method of movement relies on stam. Hello, Dana Sukas. And I will say I don't entirely agree with the, re yeah, with the region time as it stands, because right now it is tied with Actually, here's a good drinking spot to stop at. No Dano getting me here. Unless it's a little one that darts in from behind, but I doubt that's gonna happen. But yeah, like, for an adult Terra, it takes 4 minutes 10 seconds, I believe, is what the graph says for it. Which is equivalent to a full chrome Dano, and it's also equivalent to how long a galley takes to region stamp. So it's tied with two others for the slowest region in the entire game. Which, it can be argued that's not entirely undeserved, but it definitely does feel a bit... punitive against Terra. Especially when, well, I mean, just take off right there. Just cost me 6% of my stam. It costs me a little over... I mean, what's that? A little over half of a tenth. So like a 20th, I guess? Is that Yeah, like a 20th of my stamina just to take off. Which doesn't sound like much, but... 
but it takes you four minutes to regen it completely. That is quite the cost. Oh, that was another Dano right there, I think. Yeah, I saw you. And you're not getting me because I'm not actually hungry right now. And I'll just fly five miles away if I am hungry. Like, I think the average uh, region time is somewhere around... Ooh, you fish. It's somewhere around two and a half minutes-ish seems to be the average. And I honestly think that would be a lot better for Terra uh, that, or even just put it at three minutes, which is still on the higher end of things. Because the whole thing about like people saying, like, well, I just, you know, open up YouTube or do something else, or look at my phone. Yeah, I'll say that that happens. I mean, I'll do that. I'm doing that as I'm recording this whenever I have the bits where I actually have to sit around for Stam. So it is a bit much. Especially considering that soon, hopefully, we'll have Herrera and Terra will actually have a proper predator that can go up in trees and on rocks and hunt them down. Actually give you something to fear. Because right now at Terra, the only thing you fear is... Really just absolutely everything, but only when you're on the ground, which isn't often. It's only when you're drinking or whenever you're eating a fish. Otherwise, you are completely safe. So I've just gone from, what is that, water access, actually sea level at water access. Gone high enough to clear the dam, get over water access. And now I'm just about at River Delta. And I am still at, yeah, 25% stam. Well, not 25%, I only used 25, up oh, now 24% of my stam. And that's clearing, well, basically the entire map from sea level. Now, is it a bit slow? Yeah. Not nearly as fast-paced as before, but... I do feel like it sort of does... Is that Terra? Ooh, I think there's another Terra over there. I do think it does make you play Terra as a bit more of a glider. And there is a migration here. Possibly Beppies or something, which... Uh, I just don't tangle with Beppies. <laughs> Even if they're on my diet, you know, so are Trurodon. Hello. It's just not a fun time trying to fight them. Okay, come on, fish. There we go. Yeah, let's say, okay, I want to get up on that rock. Now, it's a bit more roundabout than deciding to go, okay, I'm gonna, you know, rock it straight up. But just doing this, just do a little circle at a shallow angle, and you'll notice it is using very little stam compared to just rocketing straight up. And also, rocks aren't the only place I can land. I can decide, you know what? Oh, oh, geez. Ah! Okay, not the best demonstration there. <laughs> Trees are a bit finicky. Ah, jeez. Okay, yeah, that tree is not the best. Some trees are more slippery than others. Okay, I'm gonna try that branch. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, okay, that is a really slippery tree. I'll try somewhere else then for that little demonstration. Oh, that tree, that tree right there. Even though it has pretty small branches as well. Just boop, land on a branch. Which is honestly such a cool thing that Terra can now actually land in trees and walk around on them. Uh, pro tip, in general, it's the trees that actually have a 3D model, well, branches rather, that have a 3D model that you can land on. 
So it might look like it extends out, I mean this isn't the best example of it, but like you can sort of see this branch at the end of it, it has like those little branches that ping off of it. Those are 2D, those are just little sprites as you can see right here, so they don't actually have a physical model, or like a collision rather, like these 3D branches do, like you can see right here. 3D, and then... 2D. But yeah, I have traveled, you know, the entire map right now. Gone up here, only used half of my stam. Oh, something I should probably mention. Like, okay, right now I have the triple hex diet, so that's like the best, you know, sprint dance, the stam diet, as people call it. This does absolutely nothing for you as a Tyranodon. Uh, it doesn't affect the amount of stam taken. By takeoff, it doesn't affect the amount of stam when you sprint in the air, the amount of stam ascending. It, it doesn't affect any of that. The most you get out of this is swimming cost decreased, so if you fall in water, you'll use a little bit less stam gain out. Otherwise, yeah, it's doing nothing for you. Oh, yeah, and a tip for not using the stam on takeoff find a tall enough little ledge. Do a little sprint, spam space part to actually unfurl your wings and take off. Use absolutely no stam. And sometimes it uses no stam if you just happen to, uh, catch the, uh, stam tick at just the right moment where it doesn't actually realize that you sprinted for a half second. Alright, given the fog allows me to see, I could actually do some stuff here in Swamp. Swamp has got to be one of my favorite spots for Terra. Uh, despite being, you know, nowhere like high up with massive cliffs and drops or anything. It's just really fun to dart in between the trees, get some speed, land on some branches. Like, there is plenty to entertain you out here. And also get yourself killed by being stupid. Trying to show off. When you have the turn radius of a bus. I think really Carnos think their turn radius is bad. Look at this dude. Ooh, nice. And Swamp is a relatively good place to actually keep Terra alive. Uh, you got plenty of bits of water like this where it's... You no, know, just actually walkable. You're not going to get day node, but it's actually... I didn't show it off. Yeah, it's perfectly drinkable, but a day node isn't just going to run over and snatch you out of it. That means anything else could snatch you out of it, but how big the swamp is, it's pretty easy to pick and choose where you want to get your water at. And sometimes these places, like even these shallow bits, can have schooling fish and you can literally just walk up, bite at them, and get fish. Though, so don't rely on it. Uh, schooling fish are a bit weird here. Sometimes you can find them, sometimes the whole place is barren. It's just a matter of luck. Oh, possible fish. Oh, look at you, sneaky fish. Trying to hide in a bush. What the... So this wasn't planned originally, but while I was recording this, some friends wanted to hop on the aisle, so we decided to see what nesting with Terra was like. And oh boy, it's painful. 
also if the babies fall off, they're they're not coming back. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, they're dead. They're, they're just, dead. They're just dead. Natural selection. I feel like some of our babies are just gonna intentionally kill themselves. It always every, happens. Every time. You cannot have a terror nest without at least half of your babies falling to their deaths, whether intentionally yep. or unintentionally. Yeah. Because for some reason when people find out that they can well, whenever they're like, hmm, I think I'm big enough to fly. Instead of doing a standing takeoff, like a normal, reasonable person, they mm -hmm. jump off. Yep. Wow. Here comes the I didn't really collection. pick a red skin, but my, my skin is bright red in the sunrise. There is a stick. Jumped from the tree and I thought you were gonna die. <laughs> ah. I'm too ah! Ignore that. I'm too good to die. Ow! <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> like, now I'm too good to die, I say, as I immediately get clotheslined by a branch. So bad. The day is halfway over, and this nest is still not built. Yep. I hate nesting. Mm -hmm. It's just, and it, it's just this, the the it on. It it just sucks. It's the debris nest. They just they take so many sticks. They do. Whereas the mound nesters just have to hold B a couple of times. Yeah, it's literally, what, one minute at most, and boom, you got a nest, you got eggs, you're incubating. But Terra, it's... <laughs> okay, spend the next hour finding sticks, not to mention you will have to take breaks for food and water, like what I'm doing right now. And now, stamina. Yeah, and stamina, too, when we have a four-minute stam timer. So if you have to go through like five cycles of stamina, that's like half an hour just to build your fucking nest. Yeah, I see you, Crocs. I'm not letting you get me. Smeasel, were you still gonna be our child or are you spawning your own bird? <clears throat> hmm? I'm like halfway grown. It that's the thing. Is that yeah. simply and then there's spawning? That. Like, why in. would you want to spawn in an egg? Spawning you in is so yourself. much more efficient. The worst part about it is that by the time your nest is done, I will be able to feed your young. 100%. Uh, I, I got a perfect diet in that time that I was waiting. And now I ran out of stamina again, so... Gonna sit for, for four minutes. What well, also, to rant on eggs specifically... Uh, are actually like the worst out of all the playables because whenever you spawn in as a Terra just you know off the spawn screen you can fly immediately you can engage in Terra's gameplay but if you take a nest you gotta sit there and wait to grow big enough to fly mm -hmm. that's on top of everything else it is and your parents will likely as a Terra Almost, I I would say I'd be 
so go so far as to say 95 percent of the time that a nesting pteranodon is not going to have all three diet nutrients mm -hmm. oh yeah like i'm at so i just have solid. hex because like you're either getting hex or you're getting lines if they kill the sea turtle that's the only two options oh good idea sea turtle probably go find one of those mm -hmm. Like, at <clears throat> best, you will get Hex and Line. That is the absolute best you can hope for. Mm -hmm. Because in the time building this nest, I've had to, you know, completely refresh my diets. Man, and it's just like, the only incentive I have for nesting is just seeing what colors the kids are going to come out as. Yeah. And just the novelty of like, ooh, look, nest in tree, that's a fun location. Yeah, yeah, and like, that's it. <laughs> Actually, that'd be one thing to put in the manifesto of how to make nesting good. Is that every nest type should be equal in terms of difficulty to build. Mm-hmm. Like, it's crazy that, like, if you have a mound <laughs> nest, that means you can start nesting just anywhere at any time just go okay mound nest boom eggs laid incubation time I know, mound nests are like so easy you know all debris nests is like okay now we've got to go on this epic journey this odyssey to get like, hey. 20 sticks exaggerating but it's probably more like 10 oh nest is complete uh, okay cool um actually i'm infertile i'm starving <laughs> pain Suffering, even. Oh, I should time this. I should time this so I can be more accurate in my rant. In your rant. Let's see... Stopwatch. Okay, it's going. How long does it take to incubate these eggs? Like, even after the significant time investment of... Find... Find someone of the opposite sex, same species, adult, not infertile, they have at least one good diet. Yeah, make sure they're not starving, make sure they don't die from something stupid. Spend an hour building the nest with like, what does it take, like 10 God, sticks? God, it took us so long to build the nest! And meanwhile, if Smeasel hadn't died, he would be probably about full grown right now, would just be over here like sup. <laughs> and they're ready! At 9 minutes 30 seconds, but it took me a minute to get the stopwatch going, so I'm gonna say 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and private all of them real quick. Just because I don't know how much, uh, how much I'll be able to do by myself. <laughs> Alright. I fell out of the fucking tree, JJ. But, oh, it, it's super dark. I'm up. And I At zero stam, I am up. I have a freaking leg now. Awesome. And I have no, uh, no FPS either. Uh, good old... Oh, 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 that was fish. I can't see two inches in front of me. There's fish here somewhere. Look at this. Oh, that's a Dano- that's Dano eyes. Well, I guess I'm not getting that. <laughs> Were there, like, the eyes under yep. the water? I saw the eyes on the surface, in fact, because it has water oh sense, God. so it just knew I was there, skimming. Yeah. But it probably couldn't see me either, so I didn't know what was there. Is... Oh, I am in very real danger of starving. No. I 
I have the food in the water to start accepting some eggs. If you want. Okay, yeah, accept them. Okay. I'm gonna leave the top one private. Ooh, this is not good at all. Are you on, like, Red Hunger or something? No, I'm at probably 16% if I were to guess. But I've gotta find food before night ends. Oh, yeah. you smell any bodies? Nah, just normal stuff in the water, probably just dead elite fish. It's getting ever so slightly better. Fish. Yes, got one. Yay. Oh, there's... Daddy Cake Legs <laughs> wants to join. What the fuck? What the it, fuck kind of name is that? Except... <laughs> Hello? I'm sure they will be normal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Sneasel, if you want to come help be a third parent, that would be cool. I'm not big enough to feed him yet, I'm sorry. Oh, huh? I'm not big enough to feed them. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, there's a Did baby down there. There's a baby. Oh, they're oh, getting... Probably. Honestly... Good for that parent deleting Discord. <laughs> the fucking can of worms. Oh, there goes Pythias. No way. Yep, he I fell. Another one. I guess you can't get to see the only one. Yeah, the eggs are gone. It's funny. <laughs> see, children, that's what you do. That's what you do. If you do that, you die. I, I'm saying, every single time, without fail, at least one child will fall to their death. It is simply the blood ritual of all Terra nests. Did we lose another one? Wait, yep, second one. Don't, do not. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. Testing? Yeah. Uh, uh, two children have fallen to their death. Oh, great. I knew this would happen. Yeah, look at this. This is a case study right here. Pythias fell to his death. Respawned oh, and it. came back, and he's bigger than them. And you know what? He has the exact same diet as them. A single Seriously? hex. He's bigger than them, he can fly, he is doing I mean, everything better, having a better experience. He will grow faster than them 100%. Just that right there is the perfect example. And it's also like, with nesting... Um, oh god, this looks actually really pretty for Pog. Um, with nesting, the, uh, like, the babies don't really have anything but to just AFK grow for a bit. Yeah. Like, there's nothing engaging for them to do. Not especially Terra, where it can't even, like, fly yet. Yeah. Alright, I have no clue how I'm gonna edit all this together, that bit of nesting. Very useful, but not sure how it's gonna fit in the, uh, grand scheme when I am editing this thing. Which is going to be a nightmare. Uh, let's see, full stomach, full water, server just crashed, so it is morning. Mm -hmm. Not that many people, at least yet. Uh, you know, screw it, let's go to Highlands. Let's see, I'm at sea level right now, not even up in the tree. Let's see how high I can get. Because I think... Hmm. 
I mean, if I'm going at this shallow angle, I might actually be able to make it all the way up to Highlands. Don't know if I'll have any stam at all once I get there, but if I can, that's actually pretty good. But, uh, since I don't know exactly how I'm going to edit together the whole nesting bit, which came out of nowhere, but was actually extremely helpful. Maybe a raptor somewhere. Uh, I guess I'll just summarize my thoughts on it here, like... It's really where the current stam definitely shows its issues. Like, overall, like, Terra stam right now, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Like, I'm not saying that's perfect in its current condition, you can definitely use some improvements. Um, I think I've probably already mentioned make the time, uh, the stam region time, bring it from, like, 4 minutes 10 seconds, which is what it currently is, to go from 0 to 100. Bring that down to 2 minutes, 30 seconds, 3 minutes even. Uh, bring it more in line with just the average of playables, and I think it'd be a bit less oppressive. But it really shows when you're nesting, because you have to, well, you have to collect, like, what, 10 sticks? And every single time you take off with a stick, that's 6% of your stand bar just gone immediately. And definitely mess around with the, uh... Takeoff stam. I mean, emergency takeoff, like, well, it's fine where it's at. But, uh, just the standing takeoff, especially whenever you, you know, need to take off to actually, you know, grab the sticks to make a nest. It means you're pretty limited in how many sticks you can get on a full stam bar, and that's if you're really conserving your stamina if you get lucky with the spawns of sticks. So it takes you a long time just to get sticks, and then when you finally get all the sticks together and at the same time, say you use your whole stand bar, that's four minutes you have to wait before you can collect more sticks. And that's not even considering that your hunger and thirst are also going down, and good luck maintaining a perfect diet with Terra, even under the most ideal circumstances, let alone being stuck in one spot nesting. But then you finally lay the eggs, then you've got a 10 minute timer on incubation, then they hatch, and you're just spawning in as the worst possible version of Terra. You can't fly, you can't really do anything, you can't engage in its gameplay, and you probably only have one, maybe two diets if you're lucky. So you will slowly grow until you're a juvie, and once you get to the point where you would have been just off rip, if you decide to spawn in, uh, from the spawn screen. Only then will you finally be able to have as much fun as they're having and actually fly around and do stuff. But just in that one session of nesting, had one friend that just decided to spawn in instead of waiting for our nest, so he spawned in when we started making the nest, and he was full grown by the time we even had anyone hatch. And then, whenever we did have him hatch, one just fell off a ledge, got himself killed, came back as <laughs> a juvie that spawned in, and still grew faster than everyone else at the nest. Because he could go get better diets, he could have uh, two hexes if he wanted to. Like, he just spawns in, it's just better. It's just better in every way. I mean, especially for Terra, but that's true for a lot of creatures as well, that spawning in is just so much better than nesting. Really needs... it needs some love. Okay, I'm actually... Yeah, this is doable. This is definitely doable. I'm at... I don't know if I'm even at half stam yet, and I'm actually... Like, that's Highlands right there, the lake is just over that little ridge. Only bad thing about flying, I say only bad thing, there's a few downsides to flying like this, but one of them is that you do have to deal with terrain more whenever you're trying to go up somewhere high. I've ended up following roads and stuff as Terra, which seems a bit counterintuitive because you're supposed to fly directly over things, but yeah. 
And look at that, that that's Highlands Lake. And I've got... <laughs> I used half my sandbar to go all the way from sea level up to Highlands Lake. The highest source of water in the game. And source of food, actually, because this has lots of fish up here. Yeah, the whole argument of uh, starving or dehydrating to death with Terra... When it comes to nighttime, I understand. Uh, even when nesting and with me playing Terra how I am, I did get close to starvation. Because uh, when you get a really dark night, if you are not prepared for it right now, you are sort of boned. Like I will say, they should just uh, put its night vision at like half. I say half, what, the, what am I even saying? Put it at like the average, like just give it average night vision, not like nothing great, but nothing like too terrible, just enough so that... Ooh, this is... That's not good. Just enough so that you can reasonably get fish at night. Unless they decide to touch its uh, stomach and thirst drain. Because right now it is just nighttime rolls around, you just go, well, crap, I've gotta just wait it out. And you have barely enough. Eh, I say barely enough. You don't have enough thirst, actually, to go through a whole night. You have to come down and get a drink before day properly sets in. And hunger-wise, it'll get pretty low in a single night if you're full at the very beginning. Yeah, this is how high I can get. Just straight from sea level. From sea level, and I am now at the altitude of... Well, pretty much... Yeah, even with the volcano. Like, this is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought I'd maybe just make it, like, over the lake and have, like, no stam. Lay on top of a log or something to re there, regen it, just so that I could, uh, catch fish. But no, I had half my stam bar left. Uh, it's not like Terra is impossible to play. I've seen a lot of stuff, people saying that it's a very, uh, well, just calling it impossible. Now, if it's fun or not, that's a whole other discussion. Like, that's actually, you can say, like, having such a tight gameplay loop with it is bad for it, because if you can't really enjoy the flight so much and you have to fly in one specific way, then it's not actually all that fun. Uh, I found some enjoyment with it, though. But that's just me, and I'll admit that's not for everyone. I'm really curious how the thermals and wind tunnels and stuff, how that will affect Terra, because... Like, if I can get this high, and use only... I say, I used all my stam to get this high, but I only used half of my stam to get all the way up to Highlands. When we've got thermals, oh yeah, that's gonna be something. That is... I can definitely see Terra being pretty fun to play if you know where all the thermals are. Yeah, would you look at that? I've been talking long enough that I've actually almost regenerated completely. Oh man, I love this map. Have I mentioned that? Have I mentioned how much I love this map <laughs> compared to Spiro? Like, just flying above it, it's actually, like, you know, a map. It's got all these landmarks and stuff. It's not just the same bright, painfully green plains with jungle everywhere. With a few random rocks just sticking out, it's actually like, you know, I can look at landmarks and go, that's that region, that's this region. So good. Like, okay, getting right here on the tallest peak. Like, I can just look out and go, ooh, the volcano's actually covered in... Clouds right now. Yeah, like that's the volcano over there. The Northeast Plains is beyond it. Water axis is that bit of water down there with the dam. There is. Well, I can't see it from here, but there's South Plains down there. You got the swamp past the biodome. You got River Delta peeking out there. Just all sorts of stuff. And I can 
track where the river pretty much goes. It just goes there, goes through there. That going towards the biodome is the fork that leads all the way up to Northeast Plains. Which is somewhere... Yeah, there's the volcano. Which is over there. But the river forks to the left, goes on this side of the volcano, between me and it. Goes all the way through there, up to water access. And I think I can get all the way to Northeast Plains. Let's see, I'm at yeah, about 30% water, 40% hunger. The full bar of stamina, I mean, I can definitely make it. I can glide all the way there. But I want to see how fast I can get there. Pretty much from the center of the map to one corner of it. And Northeast Plains is a Dano spawn. There's always tons of them around, so it's a bit dangerous, but. Yeah, we'll see. Come on. So I'm thinking there's not many people on after that crash. Okay. Brit. Unfold. And yeah, that took only barely more than 1% stam to just do a sprinting, well not sprinting takeoff, that's the emergency takeoff, a, uh, you know, just drop off a ledge and go. So much better than taking off. In fact, I can probably regain all the altitude I lost from that using less stam than a single takeoff would have taken. Okay, I'm curious. Let's see. Quick little dive bomb. Now we got some speed. The question is, do I... do I speed this up later? Do I speed this up in post, or do I just have this at the exact time that it's happening? Do I put commentary over this? Who knows what I'm gonna do? It's gonna be a long, boring video of that, or a very short video where I'm just speeding up all this stuff? I don't know. I still feel like keeping it at the speed it is. Even if it is a little bit boring. I mean, I did make a bit of a mistake on the Sanctuary video, not speeding up the tests. In hindsight. But I think for this, it's probably better just to keep it at the normal speed show. Like, this is actually how long this is taking. I'm not making it feel any better or worse than it is. There's a Sanctuary around here. Somewhere over here. I think that's a road. Hm. Oh yeah, if it's over there, there's water right there. Actually, that that would be a half bad spot to stop for water. Server, this population is probably not a Dano sitting in there. And I despise. I mean, okay, I already despise Danos, but I despise the ones that go to that pool specifically much more. Here we are, Northeast Plains, and I shed 8% of my stamina. There was a baby galley being murdered, awesome. And there's lots of fish. Okay, let's see... Oh yeah, I can land on you. There we go. Yeah, got plenty of food, though I'm not drinking with that there. But luckily, I am a Terra. I can just decide, you know what, I'm going to go five miles that direction and drink. Up of the waterfall. 
which has a really good spot for Terra's right here. So you've got these massive roots that cover your back. Now, I've only ever seen one thing drinking here ever. It was a Juvie Sarah right opposite of me. I know this branch has weird collision at a certain point. I'm not going any further. But man, being able to land on trees is so good. Like, even if they all got collision just so Herrera could climb them, which I am so looking forward to Herrera. It's going to be great. Just, ah. Being able just to land on a tree and just watch the sunset. Just being high above everything else. It's beautiful. I mean, if you're ever having issues telling, like, are you at that super shallow angle or just even, if you're flapping like this, uh... Yeah, just like on a straightaway, then you are at the angle. Yeah, one thing about night currently is if it's uh, not an oppressively dark night, nighttime actually becomes a very good time to get up somewhere high because you're not missing out on anything while you're regening Stam. So it's actually a good strategy just to use this time get up on top of a rock somewhere, regen stam, get on top of another rock, repeat until morning. I appear to be in a bit of a situation. Um, cool. This isn't just a normal storm, this is a actual proper thunderstorm with the super bright lightning that has delay on the thunder. Oh crap. Right, I have 11% water left. Still two hours until proper sunlight, and even though it'll take another hour, maybe two, in this kind of weather for it to actually have any impact. Oh crap. Okay, uh... Right, the river is that way. I mean, in fact, that's probably taking me either to River Delta or Swamp. There should be water this way. Alright. Oh, I do not like this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not getting high speed out here like that. Finding the ground and we're working from there. Okay. I need to head west. That's a waterfall. Whoa. Okay. All right, I'm at the river. that. There needs to be more storms like this. Seems to be getting a tiny bit lighter. I can actually see the sky now. Okay, yep, it's definitely getting better. Oh, 
Frog. That's all I need. Perfect. Frogs are OP. Okay, watch this. Just gonna eat this frog. Boom. Almost my entire stomach and one entire diet. Frogs are the greatest. Ooh, actually, you know what? Instead of going there, I might go up to the sanctuary, roost up in a tree, and call it a day. Actually, I can fly through the little cave here. Yeah, so that's that's the Terra experience. It's really not as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. It's not perfect. Like, there are definitely some issues with it. But... Definitely still playable, still viable. It's just it has some very particular parts of its kits that can make things difficult. Like, for example, uh, that night, you know, I was prepared for that night, and I was able to survive, and I got water right at the end, despite it being pitch black. But if you had, let's say, half hunger when night set in, and you just didn't find anything, and then it went to pitch black, yeah, you're just dead. You are just straight up dead. Like, you're either logging or you're starving, is what's happening there. So, yeah, it's pretty much the Terra experience. Bit more difficult, but still quite doable.